Alright guys, so uh, we continue the 3D modeling now. Uh, in this video, what we're going to be doing is to finish off these uh, side panels over here. This thing on top of the on top of the on the bulges over here. So we're going to finish it off on each of these ones. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm only going to do it for one for you guys in this video, and I'm going to have you guys finish it. Finish the rest on your on your own because it's pretty much the same way. So yeah, let's get started. I want to take this front fender right here, and I want to go into edit mode real quick. So let's zoom into the side. All right, you can select one of the vertices and press period on your numpad to zoom in like that. So I want to select the the one at the very outermost of this diagonal here, which is this one. Okay, so I want to select that whole whole edge by holding it down Alt and right clicking right here to select that whole thing all the way around alright so once you have that selected just press shift and then D to duplicate it you can see it's duplicated like that if you move you can see it's duplicated now take duplicated press P and then select selection to separate the selection now get out of edit mode and take this one let me just enable this for you guys real quick there we go Alright, so let's take everything. Let's make sure we have the vertices that we need in here. And I think we do. So, uh, what we're going to do now is... Um, let me see. Okay, first of all, let's fill the whole thing, okay? So press F to fill the whole thing. And I want to press I to insert the faces. Insert the faces. Why is it not inserting? Let me see. Let me... Okay. I don't know what's doing that, but let's try inserting it again. For some reason, it's not inserting. Okay, there we go. So just insert it a little bit like that. And press X and delete the faces. Nice. Now press Ctrl and R through here. Left click and then right click like that. Nice. So let's just shade. I mean, click on object and select shade smooth with the uh, object selected. And now let's go in here, select the outermost edge like that. And all we're going to do now is we're going to press E to extrude this, then press X to extrude in the X axis like that. Now, you can see we have shrink wraps going on here. Let's delete both shrink wraps. We don't need them. And let's turn this down to 1, the subdivision surface. Or let's keep it at 2 for now. So right now, let's just keep it at 2 until we finish and see if it looks good in 1. So just extrude this out tiny bit is not as thick as the one on the side so something about there should be good all right so with that done what we're going to do now is to press f and we're going to insert the faces so press i to insert the faces to about to about here like this let's make sure it's fine on the other side and it is so press we're going to extrude should we extrude it inside yeah so let's extrude this inside but before we do that let me just take a look at this um, yeah, there's something going on here. So let's take this one and pull it in the X axis. Pull it out to about there. And let's pull it out a little bit more. Alright, I'll take this one and then let's press G twice and slide it down to here. So take all of this and then let's press E and then X and then extrude this in the X axis inside like that. And then press X and delete the faces very nicely like that. So all I'm going to do now is to press, let me see, I think this one is falling back a little bit too much. I'm going to pull it out a little bit, like that. Now let's press Ctrl and R2 here, press E, and then F, align it with the left side, and pull it out to about here. Alright, nice. Uh, let me see. Okay. So what I want to do next is to go in here. I want to add in, let's add in two in the middle here and see what we have. Alright, so putting two in the middle there actually helped a little bit. So we're going to pull it out just a tiny bit. So just click on the arrow key and then pull it, no that's too much, just a little tiny bit, like that. Alright, that is looking good. I don't think the thickness is enough though. Uh, you know what, let's undo, or, yeah let's undo everything. So, undo everything and let's go back to where we actually deleted the faces. Yeah, that is around here. So just go back here and then press I to insert the faces. Let's insert it to somewhere around here like this instead. Alright, 
So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this, press G twice, slide it down, take this, press G twice, slide it down to here, and we're finally going to take this, uh, let me take this one instead, slide it all the way here and then all the way back, like that. So I'm going to take all of this now, let's go over to the other side, make sure nothing is intersecting, let's slide this down a little bit, let's slide this up, like that. So let's take all of this now, let's just zoom in to the side. Let's make sure we have everything aligning because I remember this one was pulling in a little bit. So let's pull it out a little bit like that. And let's pull this out a little bit. Alright, take the whole thing now and press E and then X and extrude this inward to about somewhere here. Let's take a look. Nice. Press X and delete the faces. Very nice. So let's move over here. Press Ctrl and R. Press E and then F. Align it with the left side and pull it out to about here. Now press Ctrl and R to here, add in two in the middle, like that, and let's just pull it out just a tiny bit, like that. Now get over here, press Ctrl and R, press E, and then align it with the right side, and pull it in very close, like that. Nice. So you can see that it's starting to look good, but let's recalculate the normals. Right now the normals is facing the other side, so go back into edit mode, select everything and press Shift and N to recalculate the normals nice so that is looking great um i'm not so sure though let me take a look uh let's get rid of these let's get rid of these vertices the ones we added in here let's get rid of them all right and then let's get rid of the ones in the middle here as well so dissolve those ones i hope this works actually so let's just dissolve these ones as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this vertex here from here all the way. So select that vertex right up here. And let's go all the way to the other side here. Let's go all the way here. Go into wireframe. And then hold down. Let me see. Let's put up the subdivision surface, okay? Hold down control and shift. And then right click this side as well. So you can see that select that whole thing for us. So I'm going to move it down in the Z axis, because you can see if you take an image, if you take a look at the reference image, you can see it kind of slows down a little bit. So that is what we're trying to do. So just pull it down a little bit like that. And we're going to do the same thing with the one below. So when you pull it down a little bit like that, just pull it in the X axis a little bit more. Like that. And I'll do the same thing with this side. So select this one. And let's go all the way here. Hold down Control and Shift and click on that one. And let's pull this up as well. So I'm going to pull it up in the z-axis. Like that. Alright. Very nice. So let me just take a look at this. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take click on the one in, in the inside like that. And then uh, take click on this one as well. And let's pull this in the y-axis to the forward, I mean to the left side. A little bit let's pull it a little bit more like that all right that is looking good let me take a look at this one nice so let's re-enable the subdivision surface now like that and let's add in those two loop cuts that we deleted on the side and pull it over there so let's take this one press g twice and slide it up a little bit more to about here take this one press g twice slide it down to there and what else Alright, I think this one might actually be too close. Let's pull it up a little bit. Let's take this one and pull it in. No, outwards. A little bit like that. Nice. So I'm going to go over here as well. I'm going to put two in the middle here as well. Nice. So you can see that is looking good. All that I'm going to do is take this, slide it up a little bit. Take that, slide it down a little bit. Alright, that is looking great. Now let me just select this one, press period to zoom in on this side. I want to press Ctrl and R to here, press E to align with this side and pull it out close to that area like that. Very nice. Alright, so first I want to dissolve these ones again. Let's dissolve them again. Press Ctrl and R through the middle, add it in again, and then just pull it out a tiny bit. Just a tiny, 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 tiny bit like that. Nice. Alright, so that is looking good. So you can see there's only one thing left now. And I'm not sure what is going on here because I can't really get a good look at it but 
If I'm to make it on my guess, I think it's just a, a, a white plastic in the middle that dips in just a tiny bit. That is what I'm trying to, I'm going to try and make in this one. Alright, uh, so let's get on with this. Sorry if the video seemed to have cut. Uh, I received a call while I was uh, recording this and I could have decided not to pick it up but I actually record the uh, audio with my uh, iPhone so it's not actually recording directly with the what do you call it with my PC's mic because uh, the PC it's a laptop it's loud and it gets really noisy in the mic when I'm using it so I record it with my iPhone and then I I extract the sound I send it to my email and use that to put it together with the video in Blender and then I make the video for you guys alright so let's get on with this alright so we're gonna create that white area as I was saying uh, so what we're gonna do is let's add in a loop cut in the middle here alright and then move it somewhere about let's let's keep it in the middle alright so we're gonna take these three we take those three and we're gonna press shift and D to duplicate it and we're gonna press P to separate the selection so let's get out of that and let's take this let's go into edit mode what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna press shift and N to recalculate the normals so that the normals are facing the outside and this side is gonna be the inside so what I'm gonna do now is let's take the ones at the back now and uh, let me see let's press uh, I'm not sure. Let me get into wireframe. Let's press Control. Or is it Alt and F? Yeah, Alt and F, and then press Control T. No, Alt and J. So press Alt and F first, and then press Alt and J. Like that. So with that, then what we're gonna do? Let's go into wireframe. We're gonna press I to insert the faces, and insert it just a little bit like that. Let's make sure this is good all around. So I'm gonna go all the way to the side make sure it's looking good on this side too and it is so let's get out of that and you can see it's not smooth so what we're going to do now is to click on object and select shade smooth like that once we do that we're going to add in a solidify but first let's get rid of these shrimp crabs and then let's add in a solidify now so add in a solidify modifier and let's drop this to 0.001 and let's see how that looks alright 0.001 isn't that bad but let me see let's get over here Alright, so I'm going to take all of these ones here. So select all of those vertices over there. I want to slide it down a little bit. So let's just slide this down. You can see it creates that gap for us. I mean, it fixes that thing we're having over here, but it also creates some gap around here we don't want. Uh, so let me see. Maybe we could just keep it that way. I mean, it's looking good. Or if you want to fix it, you can fix it. But let me take a look. Um, let me zoom in to that area real quick. This side too seems to have a little bit of a problem. So here's what we're going to do. Let's drop this down a little bit further. So I'm going to drop it down to about 0 .005. 0 0.005 seems to work nicely. You can see it's looking real good. So drop it to 0 .005 and let's take this one, the outer one here. Let's go into wireframe. First off, let me just let me take this one and hide it. Now I'm going to this side. I'm going to take this. I'll just add one in the middle here to sharpen it like that. Now press Alt and H to bring everything else back, and you can see what we have. Let's go into edit mode of this, and let's take this one and bring it in a little bit closer more like that, and add one in the middle as well. Very nice, like that. So you can see what we have. Very very nice. Let's try point zero 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 six. Let's see how that looks. Let's go 0 0.0007. Okay, so I think we should end it at 6. Let's try 6.5. No, let's go with 6. 0 0.0006, like that. Yeah. So that pretty much does it. You can see it looks really, really good. But before we actually finish this off, what we're going to do now is to take this one, this object here, and we're going to take this one second. Uh, first of all, let's take this. I think it has a solidify, so we can't join it to this one. Uh, let's take this and remove both shrink graphs. Alright, so get rid of both shrink graphs. And let me see. Let's take this. I wanted to join it to this one, but I don't think that's going to be possible. It's not going to be possible. But yeah, that practically finishes off this one nicely. And uh, 
Before we actually end this, let's take a look over here. We want to add in a, a loop cut right here close to the back. So just press Ctrl and R, add it in there, press E, and then F to align it with the right side, and then pull it in close like that. So it flattens that area very nicely. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that is looking great, and that is what we're trying to achieve. It's looking good, but let me see. I'm actually... actually I think we should keep this side flat. So let's dissolve these two. And let's put it in like that and let's keep it flat no that doesn't look good let's keep it the way it was before keeping it flat kind of looks quite bad so let's just keep it like this so you can see that is looking good so as i was saying that is what that is how we're going to be doing this on this on that and on the rest of the two other bags so that is pretty much it for this video i'll leave that one to you guys to do it by yourself and i'll see you in the next video